Hello friends, welcome to Brain Amplifier and in this video we'll try to discuss about the term called form factor as well as we'll discuss about the term called peak, fact, peak factor. These terms are kind of absolute nowadays but we'll try to find out their physical significance as well as what are they used, what, what they denote. Okay, so to start with the form vector, it tells you about the form of the waveform. That is the shape of some waveform is told by the characteristic called form factor. So the figure of merit in electrical rectification is called is denoted by form factor. So if you are doing rectification, <coughs> the form factor will tell you how perfect your rectification have been done. That is higher will be the number of ripples in your rectified waveform higher will be the value of your form factor the lesser will be the value of form factor the closer the value of form factor becomes to one your waveform will be more smoother and your waveform will be coming to more perfect dc that is if you will try to understand this with this graph if my form factor is one my wave, rectified waveform comes out to be perfect DC that is there are no ripples in this perfect rectification if I increase the number of uh, the amount of the value of form factor I'll have some ripples some ripples will be introduced if I further increase the value of form factor the number of ripples the amount of my ripples will keep on increasing <coughs> that is as I bring the value of form factor towards the one as I'll reduce the value of form factor towards the one, the AC factor in my waveform will reduce. And as the AC factor in my rectified waveform will reduce, my smoothness of the waveform will increase. That is, as I reduce the form factor value towards one, my AC components will reduce as well as my smoothness will increase. That is, the form factor tells you about the smoothness of your rectified waveform closer it is towards the one more perfect dc you are getting in the output higher the value of form factor lesser will be your dc okay <clears throat> so form factor gives you an idea of electrical waveform but two different looking waveforms can have same form factor that is if there is some form factor value suppose 5 then multiple kind of waveforms can have the similar form factor i mean the form factor depends on their amount of ripples if i want to calculate it mathematically the form factor is calculated through the ratio of rms value to the average value be it current or voltage the ratio of rms value to the average value now see higher the number of ripples in my waveform i suggest you first watch my video related to rms and average values then only you will be able to understand this video in de in deeper thoughts okay i suggest you watch you watch that video first then come here back okay so uh, if i see this waveform the higher will be number of ripples some part of my waveform will be going towards the negative when I calculate the average of this waveform, I sum up all the values and divide them by the number of values. So if some values of in this waveform are going towards the negative, my total sum will get reduced. Okay, that is my average value of this waveform will reduce by the number of introduction of number of ripples. As the average value will reduce, my form factor will increase. That is more deformed my waveform from the perfect DC lesser will be my value of average my average value of that waveform and higher will be form factor that is higher amount higher number of form factor denotes that my waveform has more number of ripples more deformed waveform I am getting so if you are rectifying something keep a note that the value of form factor comes out to closer to one as close as one possible then only if it is one then it is perfect smooth perfectly smooth perfect dc now as the sinusoidal waveform is the mostly used kind of waveform in the ac system we'll try to discuss it in detail 
the form factor as we have mentioned earlier is the ratio of rms value to average value and if you have already seen the or my video related to that rms and average value you must be knowing that for the half cycle see rms value remains same whether you calculate it for one fourth cycle for half cycle or for full cycle so if i calculate it for the half cycle my rms value comes out to be im by root 2 while my average value comes out to be 2 im upon pi okay these we have calculated in the video related to rms values my average value for this complete cycle comes out to be zero so if i calculate the form factor it comes out to be 1.11 now some people say that the reason why we used the voltage levels in the uh, in the multiple of 11 in the past was the reason of form factor how that comes out to be is suppose you are taking the average value of your voltage to be 10 okay so if average value is 10 you multiply it with the form factor that is 1.11 your rms comes out to be 11.1 .1. okay that is the multiple of 11 that you, people say if you take the average to be 30 volt the form multiply it by 1.11 and the rms value comes out to be 33.3 so thus uh, people say that the reason why the voltage levels are taken in the multiple of 11 was form factor now for the perfectly sine wave the form factor comes out to be 1.11072073 okay for half wave rectified sine wave it comes out to be 1.5707 i have put those values directly you can calculate them by finding out their rms value as well as average value and how we find out these value that we have seen in the video related to rms and average for full wave rectified sine wave it comes out to be 1.11072 for a square wave it comes out to be per 1 that is perfectly dc for a triangular wave the form factor comes out to be 1.154700 for a sawtooth waveform it comes out to be 1.154700 now i have drawn these waveforms the sinusoidal waveform the form factor is 1.11 for half wave sinusoidal waveform it comes out to be 1.57 that is it has higher number of form higher amount of form factor that shows that number of ripples in half wave rectified sinusoidal waveform is higher than this but this sine wave for full wave uh, full rect fully rectified full wave rectified sine wave it comes out to be 1.11 for a square wave it comes out to be 1 for a triangular wave it comes out to be 1.15 and for a sawtooth wave it comes out to be 1.15 so we have understood that my form factor is telling me about the shape of my waveform after the rectification if it is closer to one that is my waveform has lesser number of ripples that is my waveform is more smooth now there is one more term called peak factor and uh, in, as the name suggests in as the name suggests in form factor it tells you about the formation or the shape of the waveform the peak factor tells you about the peaks in some waveform that is how extreme the peaks are in a waveform is told by the factor called peak factor so peak factor is calculated by the ratio of maximum value to the rms value while the form factor was being calculated by the ratio of rms value to the average value be it current or voltage maximum value to the rms value is called per, uh, peak factor now if we calculate the peak factor for perfectly sinusoidal waveform im divided by i rms and we know that irms is im divided by root 2 for a perfectly sinusoidal waveform so the value of peak factor comes out to be root 2 that is 1.414 so now we have understood that uh, two factors called form factor and peak factor form factor tells you about the shape of the waveform after rectification how smooth my waveform is closer it is to one smoother it is higher the value of form factor it has a more number of ripples while the peak factor tells you about the peaks in some waveform okay so i hope you like uh, you have understood these concepts if you like the video please give a thumbs up and uh, hit the bell icon if you want to keep yourself updated with the latest videos and please please subscribe the channel to keep us motivated please subscribe the channel and thank you